Hey, this Peach Dude Man. We're still exploring Exogeny. We just got Gavin Hassel's data. Gavin Hasselhoff. And, uh, oh, whoa, there is a tunnel here. Uh, what's over here then? Um, okay. What'll we find? Uh, oh, I wonder if that's a better pistol. That might actually be a better pistol. Oh, 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 I actually got a much better pistol. Ooh. Uh, these guys use pistols, right? Let's upgrade everyone's pistols. Pistol for you. Pistol for you. All right. We are much better equipped now as far as pistols are concerned. Hello, enemies. Allow me to blow up this container. Boom! Yeah. Well, that was a good battle. All right. Oh, we got an exogeny terminal. Maybe we'll get another uh, side quest of some sort. Yeah. Test samples are going somewhere. Uh-huh. We got some suspicious test samples. That's a side quest. Anything else down here? Doesn't look like it. Let's move on. Same as before. We don't have the ordinance to blow this cloth. Let's keep looking. Okay. I I get the feeling we have to go over there. So, let's do it. Oh, saving. Okay. Okay. Oh. That's the thing that's probably making our signal. Whoa. Uh, all right. All right. That battle went pretty well. Um, Tali, that's great and all, but we should probably kill these enemies first. Did I ever switch back to, uh, tungsten rounds? Might want to do that. Nope, we got shredder rounds. Okay, tungsten rounds. Uh, we got a few things here. We got a crate, we got another terminal... Let's check it out. Sweet. Geth terminal. According to the data to this console, there are Geth invading the Armstrong Nebula. Well, that sounds like a more immediate emergency. A server node. Uh, the, there's a group called Cerberus in the Montano system. Okay. All right. Activate shuttle bay door. You find a repair ticket attached to the console. The damn door to the shuttle bay is fried again. Works fine if PSI is through your loader, but the, the safety shutoff kicks if PSI gets above 34. If the PSI is in 31 to 34 zone, the door's slams down enough power to shear through a metal beam. Hmm. The PSI is 31 to 34, eh? Well, let's just make that happen then. Okay. So, let's go with 
I have to math now. One second. 17 plus 11 is 28 plus 5 is 33. All right, let's close the door. And bam! Oh! And there goes the Geth ship. Oh! To think it would be defeated with a single door. Bye! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that, that's going down. Goodbye, Geth. There goes your ship. That's a very long fall. Very good. The field barring the exit will be down. Now we can go deal with the storm. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we should. Wow, that got the job done. I hope that ship was full of those Geth bats. She's Tolly. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. Alright. Let's see what's over here. Is there loot? Is there stuff? Stuff? Oh, there's a crate. I would love to open a crate. What do we find? More stuff. I like stuff. Uh, Alright, let's get out of here. Um, so, do I literally just have to backtrack all the way back to the beginning or something like that? Is that what I'm doing right now? Okay, we're taking a walk. So, this recording session for Mass Effect I'm doing right now is actually, like, my fourth one? My fourth sit-down with this game right now? Um, two days after my last one. I was talking about how I was kind of working on, uh, cleaning my apartment because my parents were coming for the weekend. Uh, I thought they were coming on Friday, which it is now. Found out they're not coming till Saturday. So, I don't know. I, I've actually been pretty driven to play this game because I do like this series quite a bit. Uh, and I'd like to, you know, really, really, you know, I'd like to do this. I'd like to do Mass Effect and Mass Effect 2 Mass Effect 3. So, here I am, playing through this game. I actually, I just, yesterday or two days ago, two days ago, I finished uh, the recording for Amazing Island. I'm sure by the time this episode gets uploaded, I'll already have a new second LP going. But I know I was initially decide, trying to decide between Pokemon Coliseum and uh, and uh, Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword is uh, a game I wanted to LP on for a long time. But I don't know. I'm just kind of in the mood right now to play a Pokemon game. Um, the one thing I was concerned about is I know uh, Chugga Conroy like, just finished Pokemon Coliseum a couple months ago. So I don't know. thought people would be tired of that. But, you know... It's my playthrough. Maybe I shouldn't take, you know, that into serious consideration. Uh, I mean, especially considering, I don't know. I don't, it's not like I get a ton of views in these LPs yet, so uh, I'll just stick to playing what I feel like playing. Okay, I think this is where we're supposed to go. Elizabeth. There you are. I wish you could get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I never meant for this to happen. You did what you could. I'll help you, if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorin? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth 
comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. All right. All right, have we leveled up? Yeah, we leveled up. I'm trying to remember now. We have another big, like, moral option coming up now. And I'm pretty sure it only needs 10 charm points. I I really hope that's the case. Because I don't have 12 yet. Well, we'll find out soon enough. We've got enemies, let's kill them. We've got enemies, let's kill them. I don't know, I didn't have a good rhyme. Let's just kill them. You say juggernaut, I say dead. Oh, now we've leveled up, but I don't think I have enough paragon points to level up my paragon. Oh well. Maybe I'll save the points for now in case I am able to do the, the, the Paragon choice I'm thinking of so that then afterwards I can level up my Paragon and not have to worry about that anymore. I'm fairly sure that the only time you need the 12 charm points is for the very last decision of the game. I, I am really hoping that's the case right now. Uh, but we'll wait for now. Okay. Ah! Oh! Please don't get stuck, tank. Come on. Okay. It was really funny when that happened when I got my tank stuck that one time, because then uh, I suddenly spawned a tank. I was walking, and then she was like, stop the rover! I'm like, I don't have a rover, and then a rover rolled up. You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up! Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! Captain John Picard! Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did during the Blitz, but your heroics aren't needed here. We can talk this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, John. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus hope it's taking control of the colonists there exogeny knew all along you won't get away with this John so you keep saying but Fuck! nobody's gonna miss a few colonists I need 12 uh no one's gonna care about this guy anyway you've gone way too far this ends now if, if, if that's the way it has to be heck come on come on Okay, bye. Well, I fucked up. As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. 
Uh, that is not what I wanted to do with this run, but didn't really have a choice. Messed up. It happens. So what now, Commander? I need to find out why the Geth are after the Thorian. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's gotta be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. Uh, let's just make sure he's really dead. Because, you know, that's that's really what my shepherd would do. Does He's not the kind of guy who would go out and try to negotiate things. Nope. Nope. Just shoot him. Darn it, I really wanted to do every every Paragon option. I, I thought that needed only 10, not 12. That is too bad. Well, nuts to that plan. No run of Mass Effect's perfect. <laughs> Finding my workstation out in the ruins. I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander. So, uh, I guess don't do this mission first. That doesn't make any sense. I, I can convince Helena Blake to give up a life of crime, but I can't crime, but I can't convince him to kill a whole bunch of innocent people. That that seems a little bit uh strained. Uh this means that Zhang was more evil than Helena Blake. Which I maybe I could see that. Fair enough. Fair enough. But it's gonna look some other make some other decisions I make later on when I do have enough charm points look kinda weird. Guess I should have done Liara's dig site first after all. I I am feeling very regretful of this, but I really don't have a choice right now. <sighs> oh well. I mean, as it is, I have not played Mass Effect 2 in a long time, and there's lots of new DLC missions. I've never done any of the DLC missions before, besides Zaid and Kasumi. So, I'm sure I'm going to mess up a lot when we when, when I LP that game, when we go through that. It's, it's all a learning experience. But, you know, that's one of the parts that makes Mass Effect. You know, you can try to stay in a path, and then, you know, there's certain decisions you make, uh, make a difference. Uh, it would have been nice if we could have saved Zhang, but, uh, we couldn't. There's nothing we could have said that could have saved him, so I am Picard, and I shot him in the head. Uh, with that, we'll see you guys in the next episode, when we start gas-grenading innocent people so that they don't kill us, and fight a Thorian. <laughs>